Saturday people population nation here. I've got my beer ready. This one. Uh Critical Drinker, one of my favourite movie critics on YouTube. Um I think a lot of people know that he's also an author. Um and this is his trailer based on his short film based on his series of books by Drake. So just like uh, we do with Tatiana going hard on this one. Bravo, I found a target. I count five guys inside that room. Hold on, Alpha. Let me check the schematics and see if there's another entry point. <sighs> no time for that. Going loud. Last year, one man. of your CIA Shepherd teams infiltrated a maximum security prison. The target was an operative identified by the code name Maras. All I want to know is the name of the man who led this mission. I guess we're in for a long night. Because I don't know shit. Einstein's team was tasked with retrieving this man, Ivan Fedorov, an agency asset investigating a new radical separatist group in Estonia. We have just under two hours to figure out how to get inside that warehouse, find Fedorov, and get the fuck out in one piece. Look around you, Frost. Does this look like headquarters to you? This looks and sounds like a bullshit rush job. You were foolish enough to send spies into my country. And as you can see, they have failed miserably. Ryan Drake. Better hope this isn't a trap. Because if those assholes don't kill you, I will. The only people dying today are those fuckers. All of them. Press really, um, yeah. Actually, uh, you know, I'm not going to say all oh, this looks amazing, but um, you know, if you think about what it actually is, you know, it's not a feature. It's not got a massive budget. Um, Critical Drinker is the writer on this. He's not obviously the director. But, um, you know, for, a, you know, something new and, and that actually looks, you know, not bad. Yeah, I mean, I did say, you know, unlike Chris Stuckman, I would, you know, uh, criticise... Uh, if there's anything I could find to criticise about it. And just off that, um, no, I can't really, no. I mean, it's got men with guns. It's got uh, eye candy. And I believe she is actually uh, quite um, uh, significant in the, the books. I don't know too much about her. Um, I recognise a couple of the actors, so you know it's it's good to see they've got some talent on it. And obviously, if it does do well, it's a series of books, isn't it? I believe his last one was the was it Dark Harvest or something. Um. So I would imagine if, if, if the drink is involved, yeah, he, you know, because he, he knows he, he's, he's putting his sort of name and reputation on the line there, and 
it obviously isn't going to appeal to everybody. But um, if you like sort of action stuff and whatnot, yeah, suspense thrillers, is it? Um, as you mentioned, he, he, he's, 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 a, he's a, I shouldn't imagine, I want to, can't imagine it being crap, put it that way. And I also think, just like Eric July in the Ripperverse, there's a, another fan base out there um, that it's going to do good numbers anyway. Uh, it'd be nice to see another trailer maybe in a few weeks' time or a bit nearer to when it actually gets released just to see a little bit more because that was basically, um, you know, men with guns and a bit of action didn't really get much of the, obviously, the, the some Russian guy and infiltration. Um, just to see a bit more, what man seeing a bit more of the the eye candy there, what what is actually her role. Uh yeah. But anyway, people, thanks for listening. I'll uh, want to watch, I'd say anyway. And uh critical drink if you think there he is, go to his channel and uh give him a watch. Anyway, thank you. Bye.